I'm in. And I'm in. Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Nigel Isaiah, Color Magazine, back at it with another vlog. No pulling this time, though. We're going straight to the studio. We're shooting an artist named Toby uh, for our October digital cover. Um, tomorrow starts Fashion Week, so I am really crunching it here with trying to put on a shoot in the middle of Fashion Week. But I'm super excited to knock this out because I want my content to be done so I can enjoy some of the end of my year. So I'm, I just got off of work came from the Bronx, I'm back in Harlem now. I am on my way to my apartment to pick up the samples, pick up my suitcase, and we're gonna head down to the nice oh, studio. There we go. Suitcase, you can't see it, but it's in hand somewhere. There it is. Suitcase in hand, on our way to downtown Manhattan to the nice studio for our shoot with an uh, artist named Toby. Uh, make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe, follow Color Magazine on all social media platforms at Color Magazine, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, all that good stuff. Um, it's a heat wave in New York City, so please bear with the sun and me and my sweat um, and me trying to balance this phone. But I'm super excited to knock out this shoot. Uh, Toby is... Oh, because they don't... Because they don't see me vlogging. <laughs> um, but uh, Toby is our October digital cover. If you watched the previous vlog, you've seen me in Paris Fashion Week, at Paris Fashion Week, excuse me. <laughs> uh, and y'all seen me shoot Shashir's and Maida. Uh, so we're on the Toby, very excited. October digital cover, Color Magazine. Make sure you check out the website as well, colormagazine.com. I'm rambling, feel like just decided to make sure I get this vlog content uh, for this shoot. So let me get to the train station and then I will check back in when we are in the studio and I'm comfortable and in some AC. Okay, y'all, this is my small but mighty wardrobe for Toby today. I only have four looks. Luckily, he is model size, so I, I assume he will be able to fit everything with no problem. But let's run through it real quick. So we have a full on police, easy Miyaki. That's the jacket. And it comes with a vest and pant that's layered under it for one full look. Moschino has sent two full runway looks. This is the shirt for both of them. The first look has a patchwork pants and jacket with a uh, skirt that matches the details on both the, the pant and the jacket. Check that out right there. And then the full patchwork jacket. Then I have, oh, there we go. Then I have a matching skirt and pant. Moschino, Moschino with a outerwear jacket that's going to be layered over this suit jacket. Also Moschino, as you can see. And then our last look is this full Willie Shavara pant white shirt with that oversized collar. It's taking forever for me to steam this. And this oversized knit. And let me show you how the shoes real quick. I don't know if I brought you into the studio. Maybe we'll do a tour next video. So we have some Nike ambush collabs that he, that um, Toby may wear with the Izzy Miyake. We have, um, Retro 14s that he may wear with the Moschino look if he cannot fit the Moschino sample shoes. He's a size 13, like me. These are a size 12. Uh, so I may have to treat him like a model and squeeze him into them. And then we have, oh no, he will wear these with the Willie Shavara. And then we have the Chucks that he will wear with the Izzy Miyake. Um, so that's my small but mighty wardrobe. Lots of strong brands. Uh, American designers, Parisian designers, Milan designers. And then this is our setup. Amar went on ahead and bought this um, this marble fabric. And then I have Whitley from Belgium here. She did some street style for us. It's going to Paris Fashion Week in February. And this is the small studio space. We will tour next time.
All right, let me let him out put his music back on. Night coming to you, Color Magazine, and I am back in Harlem. We have wrapped our shoot with Toby. Uh, you just saw all the behind the scene footage um, and stuff like that. Really great shoot. Everything worked. I mean, he was sample size, this chisel bone structure, like he was very handsome. And we got some amazing shots. I'm so excited to see the final product of this shoot. He wore both of the Moschino looks. He wore the Willy Shavara. And we were able to add some props with that, which is really dope. And then we also got him in the En Plisse, Izzy Miyake. And I just love Izzy Miyake and their team is just always so great to us. Um, so I'm very thankful we were able to shoot all those looks. Um, his agent was happy. We could visibly see how happy he was with these images and with the looks on set. So that was dope. And also, you got to check out Toby's music, yo. It's actually really dope. And um, he had great energy on set. I think this is the first talent we had on set that was like, oh, no. ASAP Ty White was like that, too. Just mad personable. Um, didn't mind having conversations and just talking and just shopping it up. So great shoot. Great, great shoot. I'm a sweaty mess. Uh, I'm going to end this right here. Tomorrow starts Fashion Week, men's day. I have a few shows throughout the week, too. So I think I'll make this one big vlog, and it'll be our October cover shoot with Toby plus New York Fashion Week. And it'll drop at the end of Fashion Month. Or I should say um, in October, since that October cover. So maybe I won't. Stay tuned. We'll see if this continues or not. Vlog in Fashion Week. Lamar down there. Um, I guess let's get started.
Yo, what's going on, y'all? Nigel Isaiah, Color Magazine. Make you show support. Colormagazine.com. Color Magazine on social media. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the drill. We're on our way to the Tibby Show. It's, for me, day two of Fashion Week. I'm not doing much, but I'm popping out to what I feel like I need to show face at. I got some plans and some things I'm plotting on. So we're on our way to the Tibby Show. Love, love, love Tibby. It's like an advanced contemporary brand. They make women's wear, but it's really unisex. Like they have pieces that I could wear, like coats um, and stuff like that. Um, but we used to work with Tibby a lot, especially in the beginning of color when we were just shooting models. Um, they, Courtney, wherever you are, Courtney, you used to be the PR girl over there. I love you because you really used to show love and look out and make sure we were good for our shoots uh, as best as you could. And I just want to acknowledge that. Like, thank you so much. Um, but I haven't worked with Tibby as much since. Um, we have got Tibby on some celebrities, including Sadiq Sanderson. You can check out his feature on colormagazine.com. Leon, you can check out his editorial on the website as well. And the Emmy, newly Emmy nominated actor, Io Inibre, who's on uh, The Bear, love Io, and she does the voiceover and she does writing on uh, Big Mouth. Uh, we got her in the Tibby dress on our, for her September 2022 cover feature. So you can also check that out on colormagazine.com. But that was the last time we got any celebrity and some Tibby. And Tibby was a brand that it always fit no matter who we had on set. We put Tibby on Swizz, who was a model influencer. That man is like a 2XL, 3XL top. And we got him in a Tibby, tibby cardigan, excuse me. Um, so it always fits just about anybody we have on set. And it always looks good. It's one of those brands that we have on set. It's Tibby, like Izzy Miyake, um, people get excited with Moschino because of the design and the pizzazz. But um, Tibby and Izzy Miyake, people put on those clothes and they go, oh my God, these are comfortable. Oh my God, where did you get this? Oh my gosh, can I, can I buy this? Like, when we had it on set for celebs, they like the stuff. Um, so, uh, going back to the show today, they don't, they don't show every season. So now I can get my way in, make it to the show. It's a standing seat. And we used to sit front row at Tibby. Again, shout out to Courtney, but we were working with them. So I feel like this is my way of getting back in with the brand, reintroducing the magazine, making that new connection with the new PR team. And then we'll be pulling in back front row at Tibby again. So let's go to the show. I think, I hope I'll see Monroe here. I'm sure she'll be here. Um, and then that's it, I'm going home. <laughs> uh, I think we have something tomorrow and then some other shows throughout the week. And um, yeah, so support the magazine. I hope everybody's having a great day. And I'll talk to y'all soon. What's going on, y'all? Nigel Isaiah, back in Harlem. Color Magazine, you already know what it is. Um, but no, back in Harlem, on my way home, we have left the Tibby show, and it was good. Um, first of all, let me say this. It was a very humbling experience being there, mainly because, um, you know how you go somewhere and you felt welcome before? And not in a bad way, um, but 
you know, going from having a seat at the show and feeling comfortable and know where I'm supposed to be, back there standing. Now, we haven't worked with the brand before, so I got some work to do. Or, we haven't worked with the brand in a while. So I definitely have some work to do. But I was in there like, damn. Like, but the clothes were great. Oh, my God. You know, what I love about Tibby is they make clothes that you have to stop and take the person in. Uh, my favorite pieces in the collection, they had like this, like these silk chiffon shirts. And they've done this before with um, menswear shirting or menswear inspired shirting, uh, like, you know, the traditional button ups and stuff like that, where they find unique ways to layer a shirt on top of a shirt or, you know, just on top of a shirt, essentially. And um, that can be like a, like a collar piece on the shoulder. Um, in this case, uh, there was no button ups. It was like a silk, you know, just like a flat facing shirt. But it almost like, or they almost look like they do another shirt right on the side. And it really gave it just this dramatic, billowy kind of like movement as you walk. Um, oh. And uh, I love that. I love that. I love the menswear suiting. I love the flats that were shown on all of the um, looks. Like I'm not recording the vlog. <laughs> um, that's New York for you though. <laughs> um, but no, um, I love the suiting. And I love how they always, they, they tend to use um, more casual footwear, which I like because, um, you know, so many women show up wearing Tibby and they're in heels. And you can see how you can really go from casual to dressy to more formal um, with these pieces. Uh, by showing them so casual, I believe. So, great, great show. And I am speaking into existence and looking forward to getting myself back and with Tibby. Um, because it's always been a phenomenal brand that we've been able to work with in the past. Like I said, we've shot their, we've shot their stuff on Leon, Io Inibre, uh Sadiq Sanderson, uh, Swizz, who is a model and uh, a plus-size male influencer. Um, he's actually like our first like celebrity somebody cover. Um, so yeah, uh, that was good. Like I said, I'm done for the day. Not too much fashion week. There's no menswear market in New York. So I'm going to be honest with you, we do better in Paris. And because we do better in Paris for menswear, I'm already, I've already received more invites for Paris fashion week that I'm not attending the invites that I got from New York. Now I didn't do any press requests or anything like that because we shoot more menswear stuff. Like I said, there's a menswear market here. Part of me doesn't want to be in the way. Part of me is just like, you know, we got some work to do as far as boosting up our women's wear work. Um, but next season, I'll take New York more serious. But I say all that to say that Paris, I got invites to women's wear shows. So that's kind of why I don't take New York as serious anymore because I get love. I go where I'm celebrated. And we tend to get love overseas in Europe. So um, that was a very good uh, thing. How you doing, boss? You? Good, man. Um, so, very excited, very happy with that. Um, we're just today in my New York Past Week experience. I have a few more shows that we'll be going to, so stay tuned for those. And I'm about to go in the bodega and give me a little something to snack on. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Nigel Isaiah, Color Magazine here. Day seven, or day two for me, of New York Fashion Week. Sorry about this truck. You know how New York is. Um, I am on my way to the Frederick Anderson show. I'm actually on the Upper East Side, which, Frederick, this is very inconvenient. <laughs> um, but I'm on my way to the Frederick Anderson show, which I am super excited about um, because we just shot a silver halter top dress from his fall winter 2023 collection on Shashir Zameda, who was our September issue cover star. So if you have not checked out our Shashir Zameda interview, make sure you go check it out. She's talking about her big chop. She's talking about her, um, her self-produced uh, comedy special. She's talking about her uh, podcast with Nicole Byer. Uh, so make sure you go check that out. But yeah, this is just my second show. I did Men's Day. I did, well, third. I did Men's Day. And then I popped out for Tibby. And now I'm here at Fadrique. So let's go over here and check out the show and then we'll recap when I come out of here.
Yo, what's good, y'all? Nigel Isaiah, back in Harlem. And um, I'm on my way home. I just left the Friedrich Anderson show. Right now I'm stationary because there's this guy playing this uh, Spanish gospel music. And I know if I get close to him, he's two blocks away from me right now. But if the video picks up the music that I don't get monetized, or if I do get monetized, the money goes to you know the person who made the music. So I have to stand here for a second. But just left Frederick Anderson. It was amazing. Um, let me start with my critique first. Um, I think he could really use a stylist or editor, not the person who's, style, who's styling the show, but somebody to kind of help him work on the collection to clean up some of the smaller details. For example, they were like these really, really good, uh, they were like these silk chiffon dresses, and they kind of met with these uh, feathered skirts um, and the, the hem where the fabric and the feathers met, which is a little choppy. Um, and I think that if he just had somebody to kind of call that out uh, and to be like, we need to figure out a new way to do this, this would be a more, a stronger collection, a cleaner collection. Um, but it was, it was great. He had this, um, oh, and I would, I would take it down from 37 to like 25 bucks. So that way we can have that editing process and really make sure that everything is nice and tight. Um, but there was, oh my gosh, Frederick, Frederick, Frederick. There was... Uh, the longhand crochet dress and like that lime green. I need that. I need that for my for my one of my shoots. Um, but other than that, it was great. Lots of different applique feathers and sequins. Um, lots of lace. So it was a beautiful collection. My fault again. Um, but so I've been, you know, we focus on Paris and I focus on Europe, but. I am plotting my New York Fashion Week return. So, you gotta remember this. So when I pop out at a few shows next season, and I'm talking like more than a few, um, it's gonna be a good time. But I'm about to grab me something to eat, get in the house, get some work done. Um, and I will see y'all when I get the images of Toby from Amar, and we will go through them and get ready to put together this October digital cover feature. Yo. What's going on, y'all? Nigel Isaiah, Color Magazine here. It is a dark night in Harlem. As you can see, the moon is out. Oh, this lighting right here. Okay. Um, I'm going to insert some footage. I just came back from an event downtown. It was a art exhibit held by the Blay Library. Uh, so I'll insert that footage in. We'll come back. We'll have a conversation. And, uh, yeah, this should be a continuation of the vlog with Toby and New York Fashion Week. So some events maybe some market week maybe uh we'll see y'all on this vlog last but um uh, yeah footage As always, New York sounds, bear with all the noise. But like I said, yeah, I just saw some footage from the art exhibit that we just came from with the Bay Library. Uh, it was really nice. I really loved all of the Carnival images. That's what, that was the focus for this exhibit. And uh, I, the photographer's name slipped my mind. But uh, a lot of pictures captured out there, a lot of the fashion and the culture. Um, there was like a, a costume in uh, the space. Uh, there was a designer that was kind of highlighted in the exhibit. He made that costume as well as the costume that was on uh, one of the, the colored pictures uh, with like a little flower attached to it that you saw in the, um, in the footage. Uh, so that was cool. And I was really excited to go because it was thrown by uh, Jane Delay Blay. And she used to have, or she does have a, a, a blog called the bay report and it was like a really big blog when i was first coming up um around 2011 2012 the blog has been around since like 2008 2008 um and then she stopped it for a while and now she's relaunching it with some events and other things that she's doing so i wanted to support because um people like jared michael lowe who i've written for and shani hargrove who has helped and sewn so much into my career 
and just helping me out, trying to just, you know, do do my do my SHI. Um, they used to write for her. So that's another reason why I really wanted to go is because the people that were sewing into me were the people that she was sewing into. And so if it wasn't for her, it's probably sewing into Jared and uh, Shani. There's a chance that I wouldn't have been able to learn from them. Um, so glad I got to go down there and support. And uh, I can't wait to go to more events. We have a, an event tomorrow with Nordstrom's that I'm super excited about. So we'll go there. And then we will start looking at the final edits of Toby's um, cover feature. And I, we'll wrap that blog up with uh, publishing Toby's feature. So, yeah. So hope y'all enjoyed this. Again, make sure you support Color Magazine. I hope I'm doing this vlog thing right. And, um, yeah, to the next event tomorrow. Yo, what's going on, y'all? Back at it for another event. This time we're on our way to the Nordstrom event. Um, it's for their new shoe department. And, uh, I mean, I'm not going to skip this. It's also not only because it's Nordstrom's, it's the PR company attached to the brand that invited me, PR Consulting. Uh, we've been trying to, I've been trying to get in with them on the, on the American side for a while. And so this feels like a little window and I'm definitely gonna go ahead and take it. Um, I have worked with PR Consulting in Paris. I've gone to, um, I think it's called Solvam, um, but the runway show over there, I cover it. So I have worked with the PR Consulting Paris team, but not the US team. So I definitely wanna make sure I go and show face at this Nordstrom event take some pictures, do some social media, and figure out some ways to kind of further this and back. Um, and also I want to say, it's not that far. Nordstrom is on 57th Street. I live in Harlem in the 145th area, so it's just two stops on the express train. So it won't even take me, it won't even take me 15 minutes to get there. So let's go run down here to this event real quick. I can come back home. Um, next thing you guys will see, our Toby's images from the shoot that we did with him at the beginning of Fashion Week. And we'll start picking and narrowing down the pictures that we like and send those over to um, his people. And then we will come back with cover and feature images and publish his feature. So let's head to Nordstrom.
Yo, what's good, y'all? A sweaty Nigel. Back from the Nordstrom's men's shoe event. They um they make the shoe floor bigger. So there's the Nordstrom's in Manhattan on like 57th Street. And the shoe floor is on the basement. And they basically just doubled the size. Uh, my fault, y'all. They doubled the size of the uh, shoe floor. So it was nice to go there and check it out real quick. I um, was able to run into Avon Dorsey. I shouldn't say his last name, but I think that's his social media name. Um, but Avon did a tone stiff color cover. Excuse me, he was the stylist for that. So um, I ran into him, got to talk to him. The tuna tartare, oh, it was taking it. It was so good, it was so good. Um, and it was nice to check out the floor, see all the brands. Yo, I want me to pair, I want a pair of um, Prada American Cup sneakers. The baby blue, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling it. It's giving, it's giving Nigel vibes. So that was fun. Like I said, we'll look at the toll pictures next, see what pictures we're gonna send over to his team. Um, I'm really excited about this feature coming out. This cover will drop like October 12th or something like that. And today is September 27th. I believe so let's go ahead and uh get into that and if we have any more events between now and when that cover drops we'll also fit that into this vlog if not then i'll see y'all in front of my laptop looking at toby's pictures yeah